games a bit. Not nearly as high flying, but just as potent and as effective. Monley's checked in for the Trailblazers. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Anderson with it, working on Bryant. Lillard from outside, count the bucket. Lillard's got six here in this quarter. Well, I like the way he orchestrated in tight that time, fellas. The drive by LeBron. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. You know, one of the more impressive things that we know about LeBron James is that he is one of the great leaders in the NBA. His voice carries a lot of weight, and he hasn't been shy about raising his voice on social issues either. Good to see. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Kamen's checked in. Here's Aminu, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Miller. Aminu's got his third basket of the night. There's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes in this defense. And no doubt the defense had better play a little tighter. And speaking of LeBron's leadership trying to will this Cavs team to a title, one of his greatest challenges. And, and, and Kevin, the expectations are just so high. He, he may have had less talent around him in his first stint in Cleveland, but after winning titles in Miami, anything less seems like a step backwards. Here's Henderson. He's got six. Lillard with it. Wade picks him up. Bonley's shot is good. No matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball in the paint. And it's a big key thus far in this game, Clark, because whenever they've gotten the ball in the paint, good things have happened. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for him. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. That's the way to work the ball in close to the hoop, guys. The Trailblazers making a switch here. McCollum's checked in. <laughs> how about the nickname? for Chris Kamen, Air Sasquatch. I mean, he's got that stenciled in his shoes. A nickname he earned back when he wore his hair long. He has clearly embraced it. It's Henderson on the wing. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Portland no good that time either. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Well, you were just telling me, Chris, came in Clark as an outdoorsman, likes to go hunting. He's got kind of a he's got kind of a quirky streak about him. Yeah, he's a bit unique, a little different, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, he's kind of a fan of blowing things up during his spare time. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> I, couldn't tell, I couldn't tell you that. <laughs> out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. Nice. Terrible turnover. Leonard, he's checked in for Chris Kamen. James outside. Here's Bryant, and he converts the layup. Bryant's got four points now in the quarter. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. Now a timeout called by Portland. Last season, Kobe with some thoughts on the development of U.S. players last season felt that the AAU system, Clark, was problematic. And I would not disagree specifically in this regard. Too much focus on playing games and winning versus skill development. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Terry Stotts as he addressed his team. He urged them to do everything possible to create open looks for each other. Talked about setting picks, running more set plays, anything to shake free of that defense. He also said something you don't hear too often from a coach. He told his guys they should have a shoot-first mindset instead of trying to be, quote, too cute with the ball. Coach was not wasting any time in altering their strategy here in the second half. And Kevin, he's going to have to hope those changes take effect quickly. And thanks for that story, Doris. And with Kobe, who's just so skilled, that, that critique holds water. Kobe felt that Europeans came into the league with more of a skill set because they learn how to play the game a little bit more collectively than the American players. And that one's good by LeBron. 
he has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Von Lehrer. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. You know, for, for Kobe's statement, it, it's hard to measure something like skill with metrics. I mean, you, you look at shooting and free throw percentages, and, and there isn't too much of a difference between U.S. And, and European players. Lillard attacking, and the rejection by LeBron. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Curry, good. MJ finding his man right there. Here's Lillard. He's got 10. 30 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. It's Henderson on the wing. Uncovered, and the shot is good. Henderson's got eight. Cleveland with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Bryant dishes to Curry. And another three for Cleveland. Sound offensively. Really no other way to put it here in the second half. There's no, really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they both shot the ball since the break. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. And, Greg, that's exactly what he gives you. I mean, he's constantly making And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, they come in off the loss to the Hornets. So on the floor for Cleveland, LeBron James is out there with Jordan. Then there's Stephen Curry, and it's Durant, and it's Kobe in at the two. Frazier the pass to Harkless. Good, great play set up by Frazier. Harkless has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Trailblazers. Curry kicks to Jordan. Well, the game's getting bigger, going international. But at least in the U.S., it really seems the game is going indoors. Back in the day, the legends of the game still played on the blacktop. That's becoming a thing of the past. Pass to Harkless. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. But that would have been lucky had it fallen. Poor shot selection. Yeah, look at the coach's face and the expression. It says all over it. Are you kidding me? It's an excellent game we've seen from LeBron. He's got 16 points, and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those opportunities. And, and you can't undervalue the importance of that. Many times a game comes down to which team wins the free throw battle. One of the most dominant players in 2014 was Kevin Durant, of course, winning the league MVP. Then last year, cut short. We know that he's now on a mission to get back to that level, and, and Greg, it's hard. Yeah, you know, it, it all came down to health for Kevin Durant. And, and at this point in his career, I mean, he's got the maturity. He's developed the skill set. Uh, he's just got to stay on the court. And really, when you talk about the game of basketball, the rest will take care of itself. And so the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Defended by Bryant. Frazier with a screen on Kobe. Bryant comes with a double team. Fires from 14. Here's Kamen. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. They've gotten some good second chances here in the second half. And, and that kind of extra effort will go a long way into cutting into this deficit. You know, talking about Durant as he looks to recapture the league MVP, he can take a cue from last year's MVP, Stephen Curry. Curry battled through numerous ankle injuries over the years earlier on, only to come out on the other side with his best season ever in 2K15. And it's Kamen missing. Cavaliers have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Jordan, high post, lets the three fly. Rebound by the Trailblazers. And getting back to Durant, sometimes adversity brings out the best in you. Adversity challenges you to rise above. And Kevin was already at the highest rung on the ladder. I think his opponents should be very afraid of what they're about to witness this season. Count the bucket. 
just carrying the load right now offensively, guys. He is not wasting any chances. From where I sit, Greg, it's a simple deduction. If they want things to be easy on themselves here late, make sure he has the ball. Crabs check in for the Trailblazers. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Curry against Frazier. Curry is inside. Rebounded by Kamen. Kamen's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Crab dishes to Harkless. Here's Crab, defended by Bryant. Crab the pass to Frazier. Six on the shot clock. Came in a screen on Curry. Here's Frazier. No good. So Cleveland will take it the other way. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. It's Curry outside. Again, Curry missing. Portland's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Here's Crab. Guarded by Jordan. Crab kicks to Frazier. Good on the shot. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. LeBron dishes to Kobe. No good from outside. Trailblazers have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Frazier the pass to Keenan. Good, great play set up by Frazier. And that's now eight points for Chris Kamen. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Trailblazers have gone five of 10, 50% from the field. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Cavaliers. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capabilities. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And bragging rights between these teams were on the line today, and they put in some very good work to earn them. Sure did. I mean, this means they'll come out on top in the season series, two games to one now. You gotta be happy about that. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for Jordan. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. Noah Vonley, he's checked in for Davis. Second free throw, no good. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. 43 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Frazier kicks to Harkless. But they recover it. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game. And even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the ball. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. James right side. Jordan inside, defended by Harkless. And again, it's Michael Jordan. Kobe Jordan's got 32 points in the game. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. You can't afford to be playing that loose right now. Definitely not. I mean, things have to be tight. You want to be playing smart, high-level basketball. You don't want to be brain-fading right now. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantling. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise for the 